In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful clafouti, clafouti, clafouti they call it, or clafouti, I don't know, <laughs> I really don't know, it's just really custard and fruit and it's so easy and I bet you have every ingredient in your house for it. Start by buttering your dish that you're going to use. You can use either these type of dishes or you can use like um, a round cake pan. Then take about a, a teaspoon of sugar and you want to coat the dish. Just move it around in there. Uh, and make sure you do both of them. When you're done with this, just put these aside and we're going to make the batter. First, before I make the batter, I want to cut my fruit. And this is great if you buy a lot of fruit and you don't know what to do with it. Like if you get fruit on sale, this is awesome because you can make this with, not just with pears. You can make it with peaches, cherries, as long as you pit them. And uh, I'm trying to think, what else? Apricots, so many fruits. You want to cut it in half and you want to core it. Look how nice that comes out. Ooh, that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get those bad pieces. So just cut that off. See? You never know what you're going to find when you open fruit. And you want to cut off those ends. Just make sure you clean them out real good. And then you want to slice your pear. Now I'm going to take that half of the pear and just lay it across. And I have some blueberries here, so I'm going to stick those in too. And now put these aside while we make the custard. Just add two eggs, three quarters of a cup of half and half, three tablespoons of flour, one third of a cup of brown sugar, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, now I'm gonna use my immersion blender, but you can do this in a regular blender. And you wanna mix this for about one minute, a couple of minutes. And now just pour your batter over your fruit. Don't worry if your fruit floats, it doesn't matter. You're going to put these in the oven at 375 for about 40 minutes. You just want to make sure that when you take them out, they don't jiggle. You know, you want it to be cooked. Here they are out of the oven. And once they've cooled down a bit, you want to add a little powdered sugar on top. And there it is. It's out of the oven. It's cooled down a bit. You want to serve this a little warm. You can refrigerate it. I think it could stay in the fridge for about three days, you know, the most. But you want to serve it warm. I like it warm, don't you? I like to try it. <laughs> You've tried it before. <laughs> and it's so easy to make. Like I said, you probably have every ingredient for this and you can use all different kinds of fruits. You can't, you don't have to use just pears and, and blueberries. You can use anything you have. And it's so good, I'm gonna try it. Mmm, it's so delicate. I love it, it's so easy, such a plain little dish, but what a nice way to use your fruit, right? Yeah. You want some, right? I know, he's sitting there and he's the waiting. The I know. But look at that. And I guarantee you, you are going to love this. It's so easy. Look at that. I put this together in no time. It's impressive. Mm. Right? It's good. Yeah, it's good. I hope you try this. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up.